Hello Scorpio, welcome back to my channel. This is a general reading for the second half of July from the 19th until the 31st. As always, thank you for subscribing, liking, sharing, and commenting for it truly helps my channel grow to be able to bring consciousness, love, and new ways of thinking and showing up for yourself. Please uh, do share my messages. It really would help me. Um, if you'd like a personal reading with me, that information is in the description box down below and thanks to those that have donated to my channel. Mentor, it comes up, the light attributes of this card says, uh, passing on wisdom and refining a student's character, which is absolutely beautiful. You're being cloaked in within the wisdom of the masculine, of yourself. The shadow attribute says, inability to allow the student to move on to the role of the master imparting false instructions. So you are both the student and the master of your reality right now. So we're gonna go ahead and see, you know, and also when we learn something, what we do is in helping the collective, we wanna bring it out in a way that is authentic to you, doing your part in helping bring consciousness and awareness, but one who has to be a student first, right? In order to mentor others, it's an experience that you are to break through before you can teach it, right? So if somebody comes and says, you know, it's best for you to stay positive and think, um, you know, that's how you transform your life is through positivity and blah, 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 blah. And then the next moment they go around, they go, fuck, my life sucks and blah. You know, that is not somebody who can mentor you. So someone who can mentor you is someone who's gained the wisdom through the life experiences without the attachment to the experiences who's now ready to teach others how to do that. So what is it that you are doing right now? Are you mentoring from a place of light, from a place of awareness, from your wisdom? Or are you here uh, trying to mentor when you haven't learned your own lessons yet? Is, is it just a message that is coming to the messenger? So let's see what is coming out here. What is it that you're dreaming of? We have cell phone. Oh, in today's world, really? Cell phone. <laughs> And it says, polish your uh, communication skills. Again, yeah, this goes beautiful with us. So if you're dreaming of cell phone, what messages are you sending out to other people, to the collective, even to yourself? You know, what is it that you're saying? Because whatever that we're communicating here, right? Is it from a place of wisdom? Is it from a place of non-attachment? Is it from a place that you've learned some things? Or does it come from a place of negativity? Is this a place of pretending you know that you have experiences and things if you have not again what is it that you're communicating so the cell phone could say you know check yourself you know what messages are you sending out so if you're having a cell phone in your dream what messages are you sending out you really want to pay attention to how you communicate to how you're communicate to is it from the heart Again, you really want to sound like, is it in self-value and your self-own? You know, where are you within yourself? Are you, have you stopped seeking outside of yourself? Again, how can you mentor anybody if you're still seeking things that are outside of you? So this is saying to plug into your own higher self. And from this place is where you can bring that insight with other people so you can help other people to also receive their own connection. <laughs> to the divine okay so a lot of messages here from that little cell phone so you know are you connecting to your own self and look at that transition absolutely beautiful this card says the frequency of transition supports our deep understanding of the ever-changing nature of existence in our lives so that we can learn to let go, surrender to the process, and allow transition to occur with ease and grace. It goes beautifully, right, with all of this. So you are experiencing these things, and this is something that you are either teaching or will be teaching or interested in teaching, but one has to have the experiences of letting go of the distraction, and that cell phone is tapping into your own higher self, your own higher wisdom. So, you know, it's receiving the call. So some of you are receiving the call, to trans to transition the old way is to shifting your own DNA to allow this change to happen within your own body and in order to become a light body. So there's a lot of beautiful messages here that's coming out here. So you're meant to go through whatever Scorpio you're to go through right now. You're meant to go through it so you can tap into the higher self and not to seek for the outside self, but to trust your heart, your own intuition, because there's wisdom for you to teach others. This is how we help humanity, right? So let's see, absolutely divine. And I will be doing clarifiers as well. So I'm gonna take this card out. 
This card says agreement and imagine just for a moment that we're all connected, all different streams of consciousness. Wow, look at that, right? And it says all um, originating from one source, experiencing and playing upon the physical earth plane in all its shadow and light to develop, grow, become more. The shadow and light cause tension and resistance, but also allow us to set our ideas, thoughts, and creation manifest into the physical. In order for us to create more and be pioneers, creating, unfolding newness for the sheer joy of it, it would seem reasonable that in our connectedness, we would sense anything out of balance. The natural order of the universe has all things moving back into balance in whatever way possible. We often call this an agreement, a soul contract or karma, but can you see their labels may not be what we think they are? For all is just moving back into balance, into love. So, whatever your attention goes to your family, friends, work, colleagues, someone you bump into, someone you observe, someone you admire, or someone you dislike, we're all in a contract, an agreement with each other to remind us of love that we are. Absolutely, you're transitioning. You know, this is your agreement. Your agreement is to be watching my channel right now. So thank you. So it's the agreement. You know, my agreement is to serve humanity be based on the experiences and the breakthroughs and the attachments and non-attachments and so forth that I've had in order so I can create a channel that brings consciousness and awareness to help other people do the same. So we're always in contract. And that is absolutely beautiful. Let's see the cards that come out. Let's get this going. So we're going to have the a mentor. Yeah, it's time for you to seek that knowledge, as we said here. So you're passing on wisdom and refining a student's character. So this is saying, you know, yeah, we're student and that student comes when we go hermit mode. We get to experience all the doors that we have experienced. We get to unlock one wisdom at a time going within. The things that you seek is inside of you. You have the keys to unlock that wisdom, to be that mentor, to be the student, to be the master, to be the teacher of your own reality. We take the time to go within. It is very important to go hermit mode so we can experience all that we have learned in order to bring the wisdom and the clarity that we see. And that card is coming out and saying that. So the cell phone with the ace of water. So in this way is nurturing new love, nurturing yourself from the inside out. So for some of you, this could be a new way. This is your own card. Don't block your own higher self is a real message here again with the card of cell phone. Don't block this communication when it comes to the depths of your own being. Because one more time, that cell phone is saying it is your connection to your higher self, to your own emotional body. Plugging into your higher self, plugging in from a solid place, from that connection that is, you know, well, right now it's from your hands, but it's sharing your feelings, thoughts, and insights with yourself with whoever that is on the receiving end so don't block out love the ace of cups although i did not want to read these in reversal but there's a you know when cards like this come out in reversal so i'd have to ask myself you know what is it that you could be rejecting when it comes to the matters of the heart what are you not accepting so this is really nurturing the emotional body within yourself nurturing the ace of uh, hearts is the ace of cups the ace of cups is about nurturing nurturing your dreams your desires nurturing the things that you want to experience and really going within that heart space you know this is being nurturing that within you so what is it that you're not nurturing within yourself here at this time right so i'm going to go ahead and shuffle and get a few more cards let me go ahead and bring these out and let's see i just wanted to go towards that okay just wanted to turn within this page here too as i'm looking back so some of you are just not having that unconditional love or you could be, you know, <clears throat> this is overflowing abundance. This is having complete nurturing, unconditional love for yourself, for your higher self. Again, I feel like right now it's time for you to nurture that, nurture your feelings and your emotions because you're coming out, you're transitioning. So your feelings could be changing. Maybe some of you are not trusting your emotions. And this is saying, you know, again, there's an agreement for you to go through this discomfort too. So that could be another thing. Here again, messenger of air, messenger of air is saying you are receiving messages. Can you trust it? Can you trust the noise in your head right now? What is it again that you need to release with the messenger of air? 
this is a sword sign. So this card comes out and says, hey, are you li listening to the messages that the divine is sending you? Are you in tune? Are you in touch? It would be the night, right? The night brings in quick. So things are transitioning for you very quickly. And it's asking you to really look at the things that you have experienced, you know, in the way of thinking, right? It's a sword. So again, how do you need to shift your perspective? What is it that you need to pay attention to? Are you in the head and heart alignment here? So this is acting quickly. There's changes that are happening quickly. Don't block the changes is a message, right? Don't block it. Don't block the changes that are happening for you. So let's go ahead and grab you two more cards. Okay, this card just fell on the floor and I'm gonna go ahead and take it. Yeah, okay, nine of air. Yeah, nine of swords. So agreements, some of these agreements have been really painful, but it's time for you to come out of that. It's time to allow the freedom that comes with that. There's birds that are going around it. There's no swords. Nothing can hold you in that place but you. And it's telling you to burn the old self. It's, it's your agreements are up. So it's time to let go, to bring completion, even to the things that don't make sense, even to the things that really hurt. It's saying it's time for you to go through this and see everyone as a soul agreement and now to burn away the old here, right? It's the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands comes and burns everything in its sight and says, I'm tired of thinking this way. I'm not going to carry these messages anymore. It's time for me to leave the past in the past and to have a new experience with a new beginning. So it's asking you to do that. You know, what is it that you're hanging on to that is asking you for you really, for you to burn? What agreements? It's so this is burn those agreements. Those agreements are done. And then this is you shifting from that negative self-talk or negative self-compassion from fear to possibilities. It's a call to faith. It's a call for you to really start to trust, allow the wings to support you. These are not swords here. This is very, it's, it's gentleness. It's in really allowing yourself to go into a place of deep meditation. It's not being, you know, awoken by nightmares. This is you really looking at possibilities. When you're looking at the possibilities that are around you, when we let go of the attachments of our old agreements, what we do is that we we change the DNA, we change our reality. So, and we're changing to a place of a higher self, higher wisdom. And look at that, the wheel of fortune, fortune's wheel. So the wheel, and I just saw 1222. Please look that up, 1222 angel number. And here it says fortune's wheel. So yeah, this is, it's telling you it's time for you to let go of the past of any old agreements and really to connect with your own self because there's things for you to teach here. This teaching is your own wisdom based on your own thoughts, based on your own beliefs, based on the burdens, based on the past hurts, based on wounds, based on holding back, not loving yourself, not caring for yourself, not having compassion, self-love. So you've had to learn about self-love, about thoughts, about beliefs, about burdens about you know not trusting it's about really you're redoing your dna is <laughs> literally and you're shifting this is a fortunate time it's a fortunate time to let it turn let it turn bring on those new agreements are waiting to come in look at that to the green wood and it says seek comfort and acceptance be kind to yourself yeah be kind nurture and love your journey we're all on a journey and the mentor is so we can become our own teachers. Until next time, hit that subscribe button. Sending you so much love, so much light. Namaste.